Welcome to the King County Video Voters Guide. Your chance to hear directly from the candidates on the August 3rd primary. This is an all-male election. Instead of going to a polling place, ballots will be sent to all registered voters. In this edition, we've invited the candidates who will appear on the primary ballot for King County Executive and King County Council and representatives who support and oppose a proposed property tax levy for children, youth, families, and communities. The offices are nonpartisan. Each of the statements is up to two minutes long and unedited. The speakers appear on your screen in the same order as they will on the ballot. If only one or two candidates filed for a seat, that position goes straight to the general election and does not appear on the primary ballot. Look for our general election video in October. First up, King County Proposition 1. King County Proposition No. 1 is a proposed renewed property tax levy for children, youth, families, and communities. If approved by voters, Proposition 1 would authorize a six-year property tax of $0.19 cents per $1,000 of assessed valuation beginning January 1, 2022. The program would fund prevention and early intervention services and capital investments including funding for child care, prenatal and newborn family services, youth development programs, social, emotional and mental health supports, and homelessness prevention. This measure will appear only on the primary ballot. All voters in King County are eligible to vote on King County Proposition 1. Every kid deserves a strong start in life and the opportunity to reach their potential. That's why it's essential that we renew Best Starts for Kids, Prop 1, on our ballot. Best Starts is an effective, evidence-based levy that maintains and expands community-led programs proven to help young people at every stage of life. The levy supports equitable investments in children of color to overcome racial justice, providing important community support. We know that investing early helps kids thrive. Prop 1 supports prevention and early intervention strategies that have helped thousands of kids stay in school, address personal challenges, and avoid involvement in the criminal legal system. Cost-effective engagement that facilitates future success. Your vote to approve Prop 1 also expands school-based health programs and counseling services, helping address the alarming increase in youth depression and other behavioral health concerns during the pandemic. Best Starts for Kids supports vulnerable families. Renewal continues outreach and partnerships for pregnant and parenting families. So babies and children have the strongest start in life and will provide thousands of low-income families access to childcare. That is critical for economic recovery, family stability, and gender equity, especially for moms who left the workforce during the pandemic. In addition, levy dollars have already helped over 10,000 families avoid homelessness. Renewal continues rental assistance and other critical homelessness prevention strategies. Please join Executive Dow Constantine along with city council members, mayors, and organizations serving children and families across our county supporting Prop 1 to renew Best Starts for Kids. For more information, please visit beststartsforkids.org. Thank you. The Office of King County Executive. The County Executive manages the delivery of such regional services as criminal justice, metro transit and wastewater treatment. In 2020, the voters of King County amended the charter so that the sheriff became an appointed position. Beginning in 2022, the sheriff will be appointed by the executive and confirmed by the County Council. The executive also directs the local services provided to those in the unincorporated areas outside of cities. This is a nonpartisan position and is elected for a four-year term. All voters in King County can vote for county executive. The top two vote-getters will advance to the general election in November. As I was walking here to the TV studio, I saw a number of tents. Actually, I saw a lot of tents. And uh, 
signifying that there's homeless people in our society. And it seems that each year, the number of homeless people have increased and increased and increased under the policies that we have. And uh, I, Good Space Guy, candidate for King County Executive, am accusing the job-destroying minimum wage as being the culprit. So I say that the minimum wage, the job-destroying minimum wage of the command economy of socialism is uh, destroying jobs and creating the homeless people. So in raising the uh, level of um, prosperity in King County, we should start with the homeless and make it legal for them to get back to work. Uh, it's uh, wrong of government to step in and say to people, you may not sell your labor at a bargain. Uh, you have to sell it at a certain price where people, when they consider your problems, will not hire you. So that is a wrong thing to do. Uh, so the best system for economic system for raising the living standard in King County is called capitalism. Capitalism with its um, profit incentive serves the consumers better and gets a more balanced economy. Uh, so the capitalism and its supply and demand and its profit seeking uh, best serves the consumers and best raises the living standard. When I lived in uh, Germany, I noticed people fleeing from East Germany uh, socialism uh, to uh, West Ger Germany uh, land of capitalism. Uh, and this was a voluntary vote with their feet. When COVID arrived here, the first place in the country impacted by this deadly virus, I took swift, decisive action. We led with science and reason and saved thousands of lives and reduced our infection rate to among the lowest in the nation. The New York Times reported that had the rest of America followed our lead, the nation could have avoided more than 300,000 deaths. As we emerge from the pandemic, I'm bringing that same clarity and resolve to the toughest challenges and uniting our region for an economic recovery where everyone can thrive. We're taking bold action on homelessness, moving thousands off the streets and into housing with services to restore lives. And through my Best Starts for Kids initiative, we've kept 10,000 children and families safely housed. This housing crisis made worse by the pandemic requires both compassion and the proven ability to drive real change. We're improving public safety and public trust by investing in gun violence prevention and aid to victims of domestic violence and other crimes and collaborating with communities to create real safety. I've asked community leaders to work with me as we appoint a new sheriff who is accountable to me, the council, and the people. We're helping kids stay in school, graduate, and avoid the criminal legal system, and I've succeeded in driving down the youth detention rate nearly tenfold. And I'm taking urgent action on climate, leading the fight for regional light rail and converting Metro to an all-electric fleet. And there's more exciting progress to come. I'm grateful for the endorsements of Governors Inslee, Gregoire, and Locke, over 40 Democratic legislators, the MLK Labor Council, healthcare workers, firefighters, building trades, the Washington Conservation Voters, and the Alliance for Gun Responsibility. My commitment to public service was instilled in me by my parents, retired public school teachers. Today, Shirley and I are raising our daughter in the same West Seattle neighborhood where I grew up. Let's keep working together to help all King County families thrive. Thank you. After 12 years of the current leadership failing to solve our biggest problems like homelessness, it's time for change. My name is Joe Wynn, and I'm running for King County Executive because we don't have time to wait for incremental progress. Homelessness isn't waiting. Climate change isn't waiting. Racial inequities aren't waiting. The status quo isn't working, and we need leaders who share the same experiences as families in King County and will act with the urgency required to deliver results. I'm the son of refugees from White Center, and growing up in unincorporated King County, I saw firsthand how much of a difference investing in people can make. When I was seven years old, my dad was in a terrible car accident. It left him quadriplegic, and my family relied on anti-poverty programs like TANF to get by. Because of that assistance and years of hard work, I broke the cycle of poverty and built a successful career in the private sector. 
Now I represent the community that held me and my family up as a state senator in the legislature. And since taking office, we've passed policies that are making a difference in people's lives. Tax breaks for seniors and working families, strengthening police accountability, and funding the same anti-poverty programs my family relied on so countless others can stay housed and fed through this pandemic. We've made tremendous progress in the legislature, but need leaders who will work with the same urgency to get things done in the county. We need an executive who will uplift the voices of those in the community instead of making them fight just to be heard. Homelessness has been an emergency for over a decade and nothing seems to change. It's time for the executive's office to get it done because families in King County work hard every day to improve their lives. They deserve a leader who will work just as hard for them. My name is Joe Wynn. I'm running for county executive and I'd be honored to earn your vote. King County Council. As the legislative branch of county government, the Metropolitan King County Council sets the policies, enacts the laws, and adopts the budgets that guide the largest jurisdiction in Washington State. Its mission is to protect public health and safety, enhance quality of life, and ensure public trust. This is a nonpartisan position. Members are elected for four year terms. This year, Three of the nine council positions will appear on the primary ballot. Hi everyone, my name is Joe Cohen and I'm running for King County Council District 3. Having been born and raised here on the east side, I'm running to represent our community at a time when we face unprecedented challenges. The East Side needs a champion on the King County Council to represent our interests and who understands our perspective. My experience as an attorney and strong record of public service have uniquely prepared me to serve our community in this moment. For example, it's been six years since a homelessness emergency was announced in King County, and things have only gotten worse. Having led oversight investigations into government waste, fraud, and abuse, I'll demand accountability and how we address homelessness so that we can finally make meaningful progress on this crisis. I'll also be relentless in my pursuit of integrity and efficiency in the King County government to make sure that the county's budget is spent on programs that deliver results for our community. I also have 10 years of criminal justice policy experience, including at the U.S. Department of Justice, on Senator Maria Cantwell's legislative staff, and in the Obama White House. This will allow me to help ensure public safety while simultaneously bringing transparency and accountability to the King County Sheriff's Office. And having been able to enjoy our area's natural beauty my entire life, I'll work to combat climate change and protect salmon habitat so that we can continue to enjoy what makes our area such a special place to live. I'm honored to have the endorsements of respected Eastside leaders, including Representative Amy Wallen, Newcastle Deputy Mayor Tony Ventrella, and Redmond City Council members Jessica Forsyth and Steve Fields. I've also been endorsed by the 48th and 39th Legislative District Democrats. My name is Joe Cohen, and I'm asking for your vote so that we can work together to get things done. Thank you for being an active and interested voter. My name is Kathy Lambert, and I'm the King County Council member for District 3, running for re-election. We are seeing many changes in our communities as we come out of COVID and deal with many financial and social issues before us. It takes somebody with experience, willing to listen to everyone and find solutions to the many issues before us. I have been and hope to continue to be that leader for you and our county. This position is nonpartisan, which is critical in a diverse district as ours. It's about getting the job done of providing local and regional services without political infighting. I represent the largest of the districts with urban, rural, and suburban areas, so I must always be aware of and listen to the many voices to find a common solution to meet the varied needs. I'm involved in many important issues, 
One is the community courts. This helps to bring services to people in crisis. We started this program as a pilot in my district, and it is spread to other cities. On June 2nd, the Seattle Times editorial board described this program by saying, it demonstrates that compassion and accountability are not mutually exclusive, but complementary actions that can help individuals and communities thrive. On the Law and Justice Committee, I am prepared to work on implementing the new voter-approved rules for the Sheriff Department duties and to protect our citizens. I am also the chair of the Regional Water Quality Committee, working on the Clean Water Plan for our county and planning for adequate wastewater infrastructure for a growing population. I was, in 2013, named the United Way Outstanding Elected Official of the Year, and in 2019 was selected to be Governing Magazine Women in Leadership. I am also enjoying finding so many ways to bring people together. I hope that you look at my webpage, kathylambert.com, and vote for me, Kathy Lambert, so that I can continue to serve you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Sarah Perry. I'm a small business owner, nonprofit executive, coalition builder, and candidate to be your voice on King County Council representing District 3. After three decades of living, working, and volunteering in Issaquah, Sammamish, Redmond, Woodenville, and the Snoqualmie Valley, I'm proud of my record of collaboration and results, building affordable housing, protecting access to higher education, and running my own small business, assisting organizations and innovators in making their dreams a reality. I'm running for county council because we need a champion for our communities who will not only listen, but will bring the results that we need and are depending on at this critical time. We're falling behind and we can't afford four more years of neglect. What we need will not be addressed by out of touch career politicians. We need a leader with a forward thinking vision and a deep understanding of the challenges facing our region and who will get the job done. With your vote, I'll represent our shared values and priorities. I'll tackle climate change and protect our open spaces, our forests, water, and farmland. I'll build realistic transit alternatives and connections to meet the needs of our working families. And I'll remove barriers for recovering small businesses, assist families in need of childcare, and help our workers regain a foothold in a changing economy. I'm grateful to have earned the endorsements of Attorney General Bob Ferguson, King County Executive Dow Constantine, Commissioner of Public Lands, Hillary Franz, the East Side and Redmond firefighters, Washington conservation voters, and dozens of elected and community leaders. And I would be honored to earn your support so that together we can ensure that all of our families thrive now and into the future. Sarah Perry for King County Council, District 3, electsarahperry.org. Thank you. Hello, my name is Lydia Safa Dawson, and I am running for King County Council District 7. In the past 28 years, our region has changed significantly, but our leadership has remained the same. It is now time for a change in leadership that reflects our community and meets the urgent needs of our families and businesses. I am ready to rise to that challenge. As an infant, I lost my legs in an accidental fire. I came from Ethiopia in search of opportunities. I have learned to cope with my disability and the challenges associated with it, all the while raising three amazing sons. The journey was not easy. Having suffered housing insecurity and financial hardships along the way, I've dedicated my career to helping vulnerable families regain stability and independence during tough times. As we recover from the pandemic, my compassion, insights, and skills are critical to recovery across our region. For more than 28 years, my career in cities, Nonprofits and small businesses has focused on serving people. I have continuously initiated and served on boards and commissions at the state, county, and city levels to address homelessness and housing, development, education, youth, transportation, the arts, social justice, noise and environmental pollutants, and fund allocation. I have led as a member of my Ethiopian community, and for the past seven years, I have also proudly served on the Federal Way City Council. And I have the vision and ethics we need to see remarkable and long anticipated improvements for our region. With your support and vote, I work tirelessly in partnership with key stakeholders, including you, to create a culture of inclusivity, health and wellness, vibrant political leadership, and economic vitality for the communities of our region. If you qualify and are not registered to vote, 
please register. If you register to vote, I thank you in advance for exercising your right and privilege to vote. My name is Lydia Safa Dawson, and I am running for King County Council District 7, and I would be honored to earn your vote. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dominique Torgerson and I am running for King County Council for District 7 because we need change. I know all too well the issues that we face in our rural unincorporated areas of King County. With completely unreasonable and overburdensome permitting and zoning codes, it is otherwise a miracle if someone can even make it through the permitting process at all, much less without great financial and mental difficulty. It took our business two and a half years to make it through what should have been an over-the-counter permit. King County does little to nothing to support its rural or unincorporated businesses, which is completely evident by the fact that we have the absolute lowest percentage of sales that comes from the unincorporated areas out of any county in this entire state, at a minimal 3.2%, and that is based on 2016 numbers. King County basically has two principal sources of tax revenue, property tax and sales tax. Property taxes levied by counties can only increase by 1% every year. With that limitation, we have to be able to supplement our revenue by getting sales tax. But the only way to create this foundation of stable sales tax revenue is to support unincorporated businesses. With such limited sales tax coming back from the general fund, we have absolutely no way to continue to support the rural areas, much less get funding for anything else. My second issue that I want to address is our effect on the environment. We have such an inefficient recycling program, where most of what we recycle still ends up in the landfills. With the technology that is available, there is absolutely no reason we should even have landfills anymore. And that is something I want to change. Lastly, we need to get back to listening to the people. As elected officials, it is our duty to be servants to the people. The words career and politician should never go hand in hand. But unfortunately, it is now all too common, continually reinforced by greed and need to excessively control. If I am elected, I will push for term limits that will effectively remove the incentive for someone to try and make an elected position a career. My name is Saudia J. Abdullah, and I'm asking for your vote for King County Council District 7. This area is special to me. I'm raising my son here. I work for King County. I ride King County Metro buses. I shop at our local businesses. I relax and unwind in our beautiful parks. My son attends public school here. King County is our home. That's why I know firsthand the challenges our district is facing and how important it is to have an advocate on the council who's invested in our community. South King County is changing fast, and we can't keep pretending the solutions from the past will solve the community's new challenges. Here's what I know. We all want to live in a community where we support each other, where our students are safe and our businesses thrive, where we embrace fresh perspectives and creative solutions. We all want to live in a community we can be proud of, and I want to work with you to get us there together. I know the new ideas will help us build a brighter future for South King County. That's why I want to be your next King County Council member. I'm asking for your vote because I'm ready to work with you and for you to make South King County the vibrant, safe, and happy community we know it can be. Please visit friendsofsadia.com to learn more about me and to be sure to follow our campaign on social media. My name is Saudia J. Abdullah, and on August 3rd, I'd be honored to receive your vote for King County Council District 7. Hi, I'm Ubah Kadere. I'm a single black immigrant mother and homeowner in the unincorporated area of Renton, and I'm running for King County Council in District 9. I came to King County 25 years ago as a 15-year-old refugee. My values are shaped by my lived experiences, my policy chops, and my organizing background. For decades, we have seen our black, indigenous, people of color communities and working class communities facing systemic and structural racism. These problems peaked last year with COVID and a renewed reckoning of systemic racial injustices. Today, we need bold vision rooted in community to reimagine how King County functions. I bring forth decades long experience building policy to tackle systemic issues in our region. I have consistently delivered wins on housing, better wages and community economic 
economic development. I have managed millions of dollars to build infrastructure for community-based groups. I successfully introduced bills in Congress, and as your council member, I will rebuild from our economic, housing, climate, and health crisis by increasing infrastructure access, transforming our criminal legal system, and preserving our farmlands, forests, and waterways. I will lead in creating equitable economic opportunities and public health resources for all our region. I'll prioritize land use, transportation, and housing policies to center communities most impacted by these issues. To tackle these issues, we need strategies designed to be deployed concurrently for transformative change. King County is diverse. All of us, no matter what we look like, how long we've been here, or what's in our wallets, we all want to live in the best places for our families. We are fighting for our future, just like when we want better wages for workers and civil rights in our past, we'll do so moving forward together. To achieve justice, we must be transparent in our values and actions. My aim is to build a movement that will hold my, me accountable to my constituents. Therefore, please vote Ubah for King County Council District 9. I'm Reagan Dunn, and it's been an honor to serve you as your voice on the King County Council. I'm troubled by the dramatic increase in crime and homelessness in this county, and I believe we can do better. The murder rate is up by a staggering 86% over the last two years, and our crime rate is the highest it's been in 30 years. I am one of the few voices on the council fighting to give law enforcement the tools they need to do their jobs. I believe that we can fully fund our criminal justice system, and at the same time, we can strive for increased accountability within that system. I'm the only member of the King County Council with real crime fighting experience, having spent many years working for the Department of Justice. I was appointed by the President of the United States, and I served as a federal prosecutor with top secret clearance. In Seattle, I worked in the Terrorism and Violent Crime Unit of the U.S. Attorney's Office. I also led the Justice Department's national initiative to fight gun violence. As you may know, voters recently placed oversight of the county sheriff's office in the hands of the King County Council. Our county needs at least one council member who understands the need to keep our neighborhoods safe. I'm proud to have earned the endorsement of all eight nonpartisan mayors in this district, plus firefighters and police. And I have also been honored as Washington State's Outstanding Local Elected Official of the Year. County government faces significant challenges, and I will work in a bipartisan manner to fight crime, reduce homelessness, protect the environment, recover from the pandemic, keep your taxes low, and continue to help those who suffer from drug and alcohol addiction. I'm Reagan Dunn. I work for you, and I appreciate your vote. Hi, my name is Kim Khan Van. I'm a Renton City Council member, immigration attorney, working mom of two kiddos, small business owner, and your neighbor. I'm running for King County Council District 9 because we need experienced new leadership, and leadership that is connected to our growing diverse communities from the suburbs to unincorporated areas and to rural communities. As a refugee from Vietnam, my family came here seeking a better future. Working multiple jobs and the first in my family to graduate college, I value hard work, the importance of opportunity, and the strength of community. Our district deserves leadership committed to these same principles. A county council member dedicated to an equitable recovery for our district and committed to addressing unique challenges facing our suburb, unincorporated, and rural communities. After 16 years of the same, we need leadership in touch with our community's urgent needs. I'm the only Democrat running for this position with a proven track record as an elected official and small business owner. I've expanded access to apprenticeship and career pathways on Renton Technical College Foundation Board, advocated for seniors and veterans through Sound City's Senior Aging and Disability Council, and supported VFW and Wounded Warrior Project, and building an inclusive region for all on King County Coalition Against Hate and Bias and King County Regional Approach to Gun Violence and Youth Impacts. I'm also a mom, PTA president, and will be the first woman of color elected to county council in nearly 40 years. 
I'll build on my record of experienced leadership on Renton City Council to coordinate regional action on homelessness and affordable housing, make overdue transit and transportation improvements, stand up for struggling local businesses, and to protect our climate and way of life. I will demand safety improvements, sheriff's office reforms, and equitable investment to lift up our communities. Together, we can recover and move our region forward. I've been endorsed by leaders and organizations across the district like Washington Conservation Voters, Democrats, C1199, Executive Constantine, uh, Treasurer Pellichotti, and I ask for your vote. Port of Seattle. Because no more than two candidates filed to run in each of the three positions on the ballot, the Port of Seattle Commissioner candidates will not appear on the primary ballot this year. They will be on the general election ballot in November. You've just seen all the video statements recorded by proponents of King County Proposition 1 and candidates for King County Executive and County Council. We will produce another video voter's guide for candidates who advance to the general election in November. This program is a collaboration of the Seattle Ethics and Elections Commission, the Seattle Channel, and King County TV. Ballots will be sent to all registered voters. Look for your ballot in the mail after July 14th and vote and return it by Tuesday, August 3rd. Ballots can be returned via U.S. mail or at one of King County's secured ballot drop boxes. Ballots must be postmarked by August 3rd. To learn about accessible voting options, go to kingcounty.gov elections. You can track the progress of your ballot online and find the location of drop boxes by visiting King County Elections at kingcounty.gov elections. A video for candidates and issues on the general election ballot will be available in October. Thanks for joining us. We'd like to hear from you about the Video Voters Guide. To comment on this guide, please call 206-684-8500.